I didn't think I'd be one to talk about pony genetics, as it's one of those topics that all the other brony analyzers insist on talking about. But, you know, it's either that or headcans and interpretations about what makes an alicorn an alicorn. And no, that's not happening, by the way. Nice try. So anyway, it's established that a pony's breed might be dependent on what its parents' breed is, but it's most likely just whatever the writers need for the convenience of the plot. But I've noticed something that's frankly a little troubling. Remember how Twilight needed to perform that spell to get the rest of the main six into Cloudsdale? And the fact that Fluttershy comments about how she's never been on the ground before in Kingdom Mark Chronicles? So my question is, do Cloudsdale born Peg Pegasi just have a natural tendency to keep on producing other Pegasi? Are non Pegasi and Cloud Seal just non existent? I can't imagine baby ponies falling from the sky. God, this is getting dark. Okay, I'll stop. So I assume, maybe as an adaption, Pegasi are more bound to have other Pegasi spawns. Let's hope so, anyway. This actually makes more sense in relation to the fandom, because there are more Pegasus OCs than anything. Oh, that's funny on hindsight. So, people keep on telling me to do something with that awesome fan art I keep on getting. Like, KP, you should put it at the end of your videos! KP, why don't you do what A and Y does? Well, I'm sorry, but not all of us can be freaking A and Y with our weird cutie marks and German accents and... and... It's not really my style, but I do have something. I know I should say hit it, but, um... Drop it! Uh -oh.